You're watching the players now. My name is Dar and I'm a fantasy girl and I'm here with the Players Network. My name is Heather McIntyre, and I am sort of on the darker side, I guess I always have been. Not on purpose, it just kind of is that way. When a girl wears fairy tales, she's living her own. She's a princess, she feels like a mermaid. She can be anything she wants to be. We customize, so you can say I want a pink fairy with purple wings and a, a green tiara and a big magic wand, and um, basically we'll make it. That's, that's kind of what we're specializing in. Well, if fantasy fairy tales, or now it's just, just call it a day fairy tales, it's easier. Um, it was just by accident. She sells her old costumes, things we wore at previous parties. It all started with her birthday. We were all a um, playboy party at the Palms, and we were all decked out, like, to the nines. And what are you going to do with a costume once you wear it? You know, you wear it once, you can't, have, you can't be shot in it again. <laughs> so we, um, she just started selling it on eBay. I'm kind of selfish when I make something. I love it so much, I don't want to get rid of it. And I like to keep my stuff, you know, but I also have this need to create things. Like, I just, I, I, I have a little project going on at all sorts of times. And if, you know, you keep on making but never really wearing them, what are you going to do with them? This is like all my stuff for Halloween. I would sport anything that I wear, and I have. This was my past Halloween costume. I made, um, it's an evil queen cape, and I had like little corset and stockings and the whole thing. And there's a crown around here too that I took hours and hours to like bedazzle. I made one for um, my date and one for myself. the love and the creativity and like you, you bond with it. You know what I mean? When it's like your little pride and joy. Like I don't want to give it up, it's mine. You know? But I realize you can't like pour it on to everything that you make. So um, this one was one of my favorites. It's got all the jewelry and everything like that. And then this one I made just exclusively for her website. It's more of like a, a photo shoot, like a model photo shoot or um, I mean if you want to wear it and play princess and he can be, you know, whatever, <laughs> go ahead. Um, it, it's really, I mean, they're sexy enough that you could because this is just a drawstring here and that's the opening. So like, it's just, I mean, you literally wear little panties and your legs are right there, but your whole bum is covered and, you know, it's not like graphic or anything. And I modeled a little bit, but as far as the creative side, it comes from a very long line of, you know, creativity. My dad, my mom, all my sisters, my grandmother. It runs in the family. Well, no, I did ballet and jazz when I was younger. I mean, I'm more of like freestyle personally, but um, I have the training. We have very different styles, which is kind of funny because we complement each other, but at the same time, we are complete opposite. You know, we have very different tastes. <laughs> so I, mean, I can tell her what I made, and she's like, oh, that's cool, and you know, I'll do the same, like, oh, wow, that's neat. But um, we actually did collaborate on the green uh, Tinkerbell. That, I, that was skirt, like, sh I made all those panels streaking down, like, that was, like, me on her floor cutting up, you know? Um, so we do collaborate, but it's, like, almost, like, meeting over the minds, like, I'm like, well, how about this? She's like, no, how about this? I'm like, no, how about this? She's like, no, <laughs> my way. And I think it comes out better if you put your whole vision into it and so try to, um, you know, compromise with what you want. Because you have, when you're cre creating, you have a vision in your head of what you want it to be and how you want it to turn out.
This has been a presentation of Players Network.